So the next tab we'll go to is the Units and Tenants tab. The Units and Tenants tab uh, has a lot of a lot of meat within the software. It's an extremely important page. Um, so across the top here, one thing you'll notice is our filter bar. And so many of our pages within the application feature uh, our filter bar. What this enables you to do is just simply type in any information that you want into this and it's automatically going to start filtering out the list based on whatever it is you've plugged in. You can throw this a name, email address, phone number, a unit address, unit group, uh, pretty much anything that you have at your disposal and it's automatically going to filter your units based on that data. And so I started typing in my name here and you'll notice that it filtered down to a single unit because uh, myself being listed as a tenant within this unit. Uh, you can also filter by availability uh, so you can pull up, of course, the units that are currently available, units that are past due, any renewals, as well as uh, marketing, which is a new feature currently in development. So with this here, uh, we have this specific unit that has been selected. Uh, you can see all of the tenants uh, within this unit. If we had the full list view, you can select any of these particular units to see all of the tenants within that unit. Uh, clicking on the tenant's name, virtually anywhere within the software that you see a name that's hyperlinked, you can click that and it'll pull up the profile for that specific tenant. You can see all of the details for the unit that that tenant currently resides in. Uh, you can add tenant notes if you need to add tenant notes, as well as a ledger and newsfeed items pertaining to that specific tenant. By selecting this tenant and selecting the tab on the right hand side, you can see all of the actions that can be performed. So that's anywhere from recording a payment to adjusting charges, credits, modifying lease. Uh, you know, you can also print statements. So if we wanted to record a statement, I mean, sorry, record a payment for the specific tenant, uh, this particular tenant doesn't have any charges currently on the count, but we could go ahead and add June rent if we would like and then we can record a payment against that charge. So as you'll notice here, as we started typing in an amount, it'll automatically apply that to the charges on the account. Uh, and then we can save that, that particular payment, and it will then post that up to the tenant's ledger. We'll notify the tenant that we've recorded a payment on their account. If they're set up for an online account themselves, they'll be able to see that that payment's been recorded. A couple other notes here uh, about a tenant. Uh, we also have a quick access record payment uh, link. So if you just click the amount that's currently currently due, it will bring up that tenant uh, so that you can record a charge. Again, this tenant doesn't have any charges on their account. If they did, you would see some charges here and you'd be able to apply the payment. Uh, additionally, you can quick access to tenant notes. as well as document storage for that particular tenant. With document storage, you can drag and drop files directly into this area here. Automatically will upload them in line and you'll be able to see that specific file. This will directly attach any documents uploaded here to this specific tenant. So you'll always be able to see the documents that are just associated with this tenant. Likewise, you can associate documents with units uh, by clicking here. Uh, as well, you can associate documents with work orders uh, generally throughout the system, uh, expenses, and various other items. One particular thing of note here with the tenant uh, is you'll notice the statuses that are set up for each of these tenants. This one uh, in particular says pending registration. This one has a setup online access status as well as this one. Uh, setup online access status means that by clicking this, you can type in the email address or verify the email address if one's already been recorded and set up this tenant for online access. What it will do is send them an email invite with a unique link that they can then follow into their account uh, and associate their own account uh, with this particular tenant record. Pending registration means that the invite has already been sent to the tenant and they've yet to complete the registration. You can click the pending registration and you know, copy the invite link or uh, resend another copy uh, via email to the tenant as a reminder. A couple other things about the unit here of particular interest. Uh, the 
bottom here you'll notice some specific tags that can be recorded uh, for units. So on the right hand side if we follow on down um, and briefly I guess a few notes uh, about the items on the right hand side of the screen here you'll see some unit statistics, uh, basic unit statistics uh, about your units, the tenant stats, uh, and then unit groups. So uh, units uh, can be assigned to a specific unit group uh, and unit groups are a unique way of grouping your units however you best see fit. Common use cases for this, uh, as you, you might notice from, from some of the examples here, may be something like an apartment complex, or it may be just houses that exist within a certain city, or maybe it's just your commercial properties. Uh, really, this is a very flexible way of organizing your groups and however uh, works best for your company's needs. The unit tags down here allow you to add specific properties um, or uh, features, I should say, for your, the respective units. So this may be something like a gas range or an elevator, gutters, maybe you need to do gutter checks in the fall, or uh, something that has parking fees, something you need, maybe need to mention to prospective tenants as they're looking at uh, some of your properties. So this is a, a really good way to... Uh, to not only be able to find out specific properties that say allow animals uh, if you have a prospective tenant that's looking but also just to, to keep uh, information about what features these specific units might have. Uh, as you'll notice that tag uh, put into the filter bar up here at the top uh, animals allowed uh, which is the specific tag that is associated with this unit. To clear that out you'll just hit the X uh, and then you'll be able to see all of your units uh, listed in here as well. Um, like we were saying up here, you can of course click past due, see past due units, uh, the ones that are currently delinquent, uh, available uh, units that are, that are currently available and whatnot. You do have some sort options here, so you can sort this uh, however you best see fit. Currently, uh, the default option here is IntelliSort. So this is going to, uh, using uh, an algorithm, going to intelligently sort the units based on what we believe is uh, the most important unit being at the top. You can, of course, add new units, um, or you can add uh, a prospect and associate a prospect with a unit as well. 